Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course on the principles of CDMA, MIMO, OFDM, wireless communication systems. In the previous module, we have seen the MIMO zero forcing receiver. In this module, let us look at a simple example to understand this concept of MIMO zero forcing receiver. So, let us look at a simple example. Let us consider a 3 cross 2 let us consider a 3 cross 2 MIMO system that is a MIMO system with R equal to 3 receive antennas, T equal to 2 transmit antennas. So, we have R equal to 3 receive antennas, T equal to 2 transmit antennas. Let us say this system model is given as Y1, Y2, Y3, is equal to 1 3 2 3 1 3 4 2 x 1 x 2 which is the transmit vector plus of course, I have my noise which is w 1 w 2 w 3 and this is my channel matrix which is h which is a 3 cross 2 channel matrix since I have 3 receive antennas and 2 transmit antennas. So, we can see that r is strictly greater than t. So, therefore, h inverse that is there is nothing known as this is that this is a matrix which number of rows strictly greater than the number of columns. Therefore, there is no h in this matrix is not invertible that is h inverse does not exist. However, we know how to construct the zero forcing receiver. The zero forcing receiver is given as, so for this system the zero forcing we have H, the channel matrix H is equal to 2 3 1 3 4 2. Therefore, our zero forcing receiver is equal to H Hermitian H or H transpose H since H is real inverse H Hermitian Y bar. Let us now evaluate this matrix H Hermitian H inverse times H uh, H Hermitian or transpose correct. So, let us now evaluate this matrix. So, let us evaluate this matrix. Now, let us first start with H Hermitian H, H Hermitian H is basically transpose, H Hermitian is the transpose and complex conjugate of H that is 2 1 4 3 3 2 and 2 1 4 3 3 2 which is equal to, well the product of these stretch Hermitian H is 21, 17, 17, 22 and therefore, this is a 2 cross 2 matrix that is a T cross T matrix as we have previously seen. H Hermitian H inverse is 1 over the determinant of this that is 21 times 22 minus 17 square times 22, 21 minus 17 minus 17, which is basically equal to the matrix. This is equal to, well, 0 0.12, 72 uh, minus 0 0.0983 minus 0 0.09 
0.83.1214 okay and therefore now all i have to do is now i have to multiply this h hermitian h inverse by h hermitian that is equal to therefore that is equal to this point 127 127 2 minus point 0 9 8 3 minus point 0 9 8 3 point 1 2 1 4 times h hermitian which is 2 1 4 3 which is equal to minus point zero four zero five point one six seven six minus point one six seven six point two six five nine point three one two one minus point one five zero three and therefore this is basically my matrix H Hermitian H inverse H Hermitian or this is also the pseudo inverse this is also the pseudo inverse of H. So, what we have calculated now is basically the matrix H Hermitian H inverse H Hermitian which is also the pseudo inverse of this matrix H. Now, therefore, now the zero forcing receiver is simple, the zero forcing receiver is x hat equals h Hermitian h inverse h Hermitian y bar which is equal to minus 0 0.0405.1614 minus 0.1676 0 0.2659, 0 0.3121, minus 0 0.1503 times y1, y2, y3. On the left hand side, I have x hat, which is x1 hat, x2 hat. So, basically, what I have is x1 hat is equal to minus 0 0.0405 y 1 minus 0 0.1676 y 2 plus 0 0.3121 y 3. Similarly, x 2 hat equals 0 0.1676 y 1 plus 0 0.2659 y 2 minus 0 0.1503 y 3 all right. So, x 1 hat at the receiver can be reconstructed from the vector y 1, y 2, y 3 is a vector y bar as minus 0 0.0405 y 1 minus 0 0.1676 y 2 plus 0 0.3121 y 3 and x 2 hat can be recovered as 0 0.1676 y 1 plus 0 0.2659 y 2 minus 0 0.1503 y 3 and this basically is our zero forcing this is basically our zero forcing receiver this is the zero forcing receiver for this 3 cross 2 MIMO system which we have illustrated by this simple example. So, what have we done in this case? We have considered a simple channel matrix H for a 3 cross 2 system which means number of receive antennas is 3, number of transmit antennas is 2. So, H inverse does not exist. So, we have constructed the pseudo inverse that is H Hermitian H inverse times H Hermitian and from the pseudo inverse we have constructed the zero forcing receiver for this MIMO system. All right. So, this is a simple example sort of for a MIMO zero force receiver. Let us now look at another aspect. Let us look at the bit error rate of this MIMO system with the zero forcing receiver because the bit error rate in the MIMO system depends on the type of the receiver 
right now we are considering the zero forcing receiver. So, let us look at the bit error rate of this MIMO system with zero forcing reception. So, what we want to look at next is the bit error rate of bit error rate of MIMO system with the zero forcing receiver. Okay. And now, if you look at this, consider a channel matrix H. matrix H with all elements I I D I I D complex Gaussian with average power equal to 1. All right. So, we are considering a channel matrix H basically in which all the elements that is all the channel coefficients H i j are i i d complex Gaussian that is they have a complex that is a Gaussian real part, Gaussian imaginary part with average power 1 which means to say all the channel coefficients are Rayleigh fading with average power 1. These are i i d Rayleigh fading coefficients with average power 1. So, we are considering an R cross T channel matrix. So, there are R times T channel coefficients. Further, we are considering this channel coefficients to be i i d Rayleigh fading average power or average power average magnitude square of each Rayleigh fading coefficient is average power 1. Let the transmit symbol power p, p all right. So, also consider transmit symbol power equals p that is expected value of each magnitude x i square equals p that is the transmit symbol power is p all right the channel coefficients are i i d Rayleigh fading with average power that is independent and identical Rayleigh fading channel coefficients with average power 1 average gain uh, magnitude square is equal to 1 and the transmit power of each symbol in this transmit vector is p then the bit error rate for bpsk modulated symbols error rate or BPSK with zero forcing receptions that is considering the zero forcing or ZF receiver is basically equal to that of a receive antenna system or receive diversity system with maximal ratio combining that is receive antenna MRC system which we have seen before with L equal to R minus T plus 1 antennas and this is something that is very interesting and which we are not going to prove rigorously here, but which we are going to take on the face of it. What we are saying is something very interesting that is if the channel coefficients are I i d for this MIMO channel matrix that is R cross T MIMO channel matrix and we are using the zero forcing receiver at the receiver, the ZF receiver, then the bit error rate when the symbols are BPSK modulated is basically as if we have multiple receive antennas. How many receive antennas? That is L is equal to R minus T plus 1 receive antennas and we are doing maximal ratio combining correct and we know that the approx that is the approximate bit error rate expression for approximate bit error rate with maximum ratio combining is 2 l minus 1 choose l 1 over twice snr raised to the power of l 
So, this is my expression for beta error rate at high SNR. with L is equal to R minus T plus 1. So, what this is saying is something very interesting. All we have to do is to look at the maximum ratio combining system, set L equals R minus T plus 1 in that formula and basically that gives the bitter rate of this MIMO wireless communication system with 0 force. All right. To understand this better, let us look at a simple example. Let us look at a simple example to understand this better. So, what we want to do is consider a 3 cross 2 MIMO system with SNR equals 25 dB. And then we want to consider the zero forcing receiver and question is what is the bit error rate of this system. We said the average bit error rate equals 2 L minus 1 choose L 1 by 2 S N R raised to the power of L, where L equals R minus T plus 1. In this case, R is equal to 3, T is equal to 2. So, this is 3 minus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Therefore, the average bitter rate equals, well, 3 choose 2 times 1 over 2 S N R raised to the power of 2, that is 3 by 4 1 over S N R square. Now, what is S N R? S N R D B equals 25 D B. Which means 10 log 10 S N R equals 25, which means S N R is equal to 10 to the power of 2.5 which is equal to 316.2278. Therefore, the beta error rate is equal to 3 by 4, 1 over S n r square, 1 over 10 to the power of 2.5 whole square, which is equal to 0 0.75 into 10 to the power of minus 5, which is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Therefore, this is the bit error rate of a MIMO wireless communication system with that is a 3 cross 2 MIMO wireless communication system that is channel matrix is 3 cross 2, SNR is 25 dB and uh, uh, basically what we are computing is the bit error rate with BPSK modulation and zero forcing receiver. Remember the bit error rate depends on the kind of the receiver. Right. For a MIMO system, there are many different kinds of receivers that are possible. So, here we are calculating the bitter rate with the zero forcing receiver. All right. And so, in this concept, we have comprehensively looked at an example of a zero forcing receiver in a MIMO system and also an example to calculate uh, uh, the uh, how to calculate the bitter rate of MIMO system with zero forcing receiver and a simple example to illustrate what is the bitter rate of this of a 3 cross 2 MIMO system with zero forcing receiver. Alright, so we will conclude this module here. Thank you very much.